So today we're going to be looking at the London to Brighton line. And as you can tell, it's already broken. We have no platform. Anyway, as you can probably see, it's pitch black, uh, is what this is saying. You won't be able to see anything apart from your headlights. And uh, we've got to drive this all the way to London, Victoria. Basically, in the dark. Um, which should be interesting. So, if we bring up this, we are... So, I'm at South Croydon at the moment. Which is all the way down south from London, Victoria, which is up here. Put the top of the map. So, this could be interesting. And put the passengers on. Now, I don't know if this is actually timetabled or not. It doesn't look as if it is. But you can tell it is quite dark, so you won't be able to see much of the journey. Right, okay, let's get going. And we'll see if this goes well or not. It looks like straight away we've got two red signals in front and it's actually very difficult to see exactly what's going on here. Okay, it's actually green. It's hiding behind that bridge. There's a nicely lit up building up there. On the right, green and purple by the looks of it, and uh, blue as well, yeah. No, speeding straight away. I think we do have to stop everywhere. Okay, there we go. So if we look at this, we can actually see how far away our destination is. Um, can we? Yeah, there we go. 10.67 miles away. been some engineering works up on the line, wait here until the call has been given for the line to be clear. Okay. There we go, we're now clear to proceed. What was the 22 mile? So no, this isn't exactly the sort of journey you would take if you want to see the scenery. Because you can't really see very much of it.
see anything out of this. I'm not sure if we're going to have some interesting signalling going on, whether or not that will happen, because that could be interesting if it does. I'm just wondering whereabouts is the forecast stop? There, just past it. Just wander around uh, Selhurst Station. And we'll have to go again. So it is basically a very intensive start-stop at the moment. I was wondering if that was us, but no it's not. We've got the green one over here to the left. It would be more of a challenge to turn off the, um, the heads up display, but to be fair, I don't think I'd be able to do it then. Probably get lost. Yes, what I thought was a forecast stop at the last platform station was actually the platform four sign as opposed to the real platform stop which looks like so, so there actually wasn't one on the last station is five and a half miles away so it looks like we get a bit of um, not well non-stop before Clapham Junction and then it's straight into London Victoria so that 
drone? Yep, yeah, drone. Wait, stop now. Ooh, I don't think we're going to stop in time. It's a bit bumpy. Or maybe we will. I think we will, actually. I don't know where we're meant to stop. No, up here. going to reach 70 actually. And time to stop again. sunken into the platform. We've got six there, so we'll stop about here, I think. Let's go the other way. So, Clapham Junction now, and we've actually got a little bit of driving first, we've got 4 miles. So, as we're coming up to 60, let's set the um, speed limiter up to 60. be interesting if we have some signalling going on but I'm beginning to think that's not going to happen. Yeah. Although saying that we've got a load of signals down here along the bottom. So we do appear to be holding now around about 59. Although it's still creeping up. Let's see if this stops it. No. Not yet. 
There we go, it has now. So we're not going to go above 60. Now he keep on hitting space to try and centre the camera because that's what the uh, command is in OMSI. No, this isn't OMSI. Okay, I'm starting to wonder why there's so many dark trains going past. Like, why doesn't it have its lights on? So yeah, we are going non-stop now because there's another station here, which we don't appear to be stopping at. Well, we aren't stopping at it. Actually, this scenario is slightly less interesting than I thought it would be. It actually looked a lot more interesting <laughs> than it has turned out. Junction now, it's about one mile away. And then we'll have the fun of negotiating our way into London Victoria Station. And it looks like we'll be arriving at around about I don't know, quarter to um, midnight. going off. What could that mean? Yeah, I'm stopped just short of this eight car marker. That's all very quiet. There appears to be more dark trains over here. In fact, some half dark trains over here and some class 450s these are really badly modelled <laughs> while they look it anyway so apparently there's engineering works on the flyover so we're going to go under it and I presume that is what this uh, signal here is telling me. So that could be interesting. So we've got to slow down to 45. And up ahead we have a feather indicator. Should 
be yeah it's green actually that looks like it'll be ours Houses. <laughs> I think we must be getting in um, quite close to the centre now. Oh, 15 miles an hour. It's gone single track. That's not a good sign. are in our favour. For the moment at least. This is really annoying trying to actually keep it at a steady speed down here. We appear to be joining another line. I'm just going to let it go under its own momentum. Fifteen all the way up here, for another half a mile. That looks like it's back up a hill now. Oh, there we go. We're on thirty-five now. Still can't see much. Another bridge by the time. And we have London Victoria in sight. approaching the end of the line. And it's quite quiet here actually, considering the time. I suppose it would be. So, platform 7. I think it's still raining. Yep. Still the best thing in this game. The rain. <laughs> the best looking thing. Let's stop and let it um, collect up on the window.
much it is, it's still going to rain underneath the uh, cover of the station. Somehow I think it is. Small number. What's going on with the platform down here as well? I don't think that's meant to happen. No, I don't I really don't think that's meant to happen down there. Or that on the right. A big gap in the platform. Well done. <laughs> right, let's see how close we can get it. That close, I take it. Let's see what that was. Um, still quite far away, actually. And those headlights are really quite bright. Railsimulator.com says the sign. Oh yeah. It's a bit dead inside here. We made it on time with no accidents. Um, all you need to do now is switch the cabs and take the train to the depot. I didn't realise we had to do that. Okay, let's do that then. Right. You may have to switch points, it said. So let's have a look. If we're here... We're going along here. We want to go to... Carriage shed four. Looks like we're set on the right path anyway, so hopefully we don't have to do that. I think that's set incorrectly. Right, let's take it over into the carriage sh uh, sheds now. But yeah, this um, scenario isn't the best, in all fairness. There's not really much going on, and you can't really see anything. So I think we should try another one, another day. I don't know if we want to do that on the same route or not. It did look like we were all set into the, into the right place. But yeah, the scenario seems kind of dead. More, be more interesting if there's stuff going on, but there just isn't. Juice. 
Should we stop at the end? I think so. Well, let's stop in the in the shed, shall we? Looks like it goes out here. Try and line it up with this one. Yeah, that should do. These look kind of cool. Along with that. And the wiper still going. Anyway, <laughs> now for a cuppa and a good night's sleep. It says, that's us done. Hold back the night. Uh, I think it was on the Steam Workshop. And, um, apparently, it's, you know, the hardest level, but I don't think it was, and, um, uh, actually took less time than they've got here. It's actually taken about half an hour to do that one. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, I don't know where it is in the Workshop anymore, so I don't know if it can still be downloaded or not. <laughs>